Mitered square blanket number three, and in the last video I showed you how to change colors and how to, with a knitted cast on, add those 18 stitches for the top half of the square, the new square. Now I'm going to show you how to pick up. Um, now since I changed colors, I don't want that loopy look to be on the wrong side, so I want it on the front side, or the, actually this is the back side here. So I need to pick these up with a purl versus a knit so that the, um, the two color loopy look is on the wrong side. So I'm going to purl into these to pick up the stitch. So I need to get 18, so that's, and I had that one loop left, that was the first loop. And then I'm going to purl into each of these. Hope you can see that there. There's my loop I'm pulling up, and I'm purling the new color into it. So then that two color loopy look is on this side, which is the wrong side. And then the right side has a cleaner look. I'm trying to do that throughout the blanket so that when I'm done, I actually do have a right side and the wrong side. This particular blanket, I am also going to put a fleece backing on. Haven't decided exactly how I want to do that yet, but, um, I even thought of putting holes in the in the um, material around the edge of the material and crocheting an edge with the um, to attach the fleece to the knitted. That way, I, there won't be any sewing. I really do not like to sew, <laughs> so anything I can do to not have to sew that is usually my goal so that's that's why i'm trying to do this without all those little ends because that's such a pain to sew those in at the end let's see how many we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen Ugh. <clears throat> so then i'm just gonna kind of pick one up down there and Somewhere in here, I'll pick up another one. I'm going to pull up on one of these loops that is right at the end. So there I have 18. Then I'm going to turn, and on my way back, I will place a marker after that first stitch, and then I will know that this is my right side row and on my right side rows that's where I do the decreases in the center so working back here all right so that is how you add your top square and start working back down along that other edge look for video number four I'm not sure what we're going to look at there, but it'll be more of the same.